What's up guys? Today, we're gonna be working on the Escalade. All right guys, well, thought I'd do a quick tutorial. This is a 2008 Escalade. Of course, the Tahoe and Suburbans, they all the same design. But you see that door handle? See how it pulls away? It broke on the inside. I hate that. I think it's just a poor design, but you know, I mean, it is what it is. So we're going to replace that one with this one and we'll show you how we do it. The next thing you have to do is where the door handle is, there's a little cover back here. See how I just pried that off a little bit? That reveals one of the screws there. And there's another cover where your handle is here. There's another, another cover on the inside. Just be careful, don't scratch up your leather or scratch up your cover and knock yours on the ground like I did. Oops. So now behind those covers we have a, I think that's a 10 millimeter bolt that's there. And it's a 10 millimeter bolt, 10 millimeter bolt that's in there. Uh, some people have two in theirs. Mine only has one, so uh, it's up to you. It depends on your vehicle. But I only have one in there, so I've got to get that one out and I've got to get that one out. So real quick, this little square that you see here has to come off. Now you do it well. I'm trying to do it with. Hopefully I don't lose it. But I like to use these little pry tools. Oh, the door's trying to lock on me. Let's see if I can pry it out and show it to you at the same time. But that's all it does. You see how it just pulls out? See how it pulls out just a little bit. And when it pulls out, that allows the hand the. Door lock to come and off. once those two bolts come off, all you've got to do is just work your hand around the door. Um, sometimes I like to start at the bottom. I don't know why, but as you start pulling, you'll see how the panel will separate. You see, I can get my hand back there now. And you'll just do that all the way around the truck until the whole panel pops up in the air like that. You see that? So you just lift the panel out like that, and then you'll push it up in the air um, over this if you want to call it the door the window right here see how it just picks up and pulls off now to the next step but don't pull it too far because you got to disconnect something else this is the back of the door so now you see that cable that's right there that actually goes to the door handle so for mine it, it's it's supposed to stay locked back like that yours should be in place but all you do is just basically pull it around and then you'll lift up. You see how it comes out of that slot like that? See, easy. The other thing you'll have to do, this harness right here, I've got it already unplugged so you can see what the harness looks like. All you do is just push that back tab right there and you'll slide that harness out. All that is, that's just connected to your window switch, which is under that panel there. Um, but you'll just reach back there, squeeze that, squeeze it down just like that and then just pull it and it'll come straight down and you can separate like that so once you get that separated and your um, handle release cable then the whole door panel will just pull off like that all right so let's go into the door if you look up there right where the, the handle is again that's the 10 millimeter i was showing you we've got light on it now so i'm gonna show you again 10 meter 10 millimeter there and then come outside the door the second hole right here if you look in there there's another 10 millimeter right well get the camera in place there's another one right there at the back of the door handle which actually this is the one that let go on my handle and most of most of the handles it'll be this one this is the one that broke on the inside but that's it just two 10 millimeter two 10 millimeter bolts hold that right now that we've got this yellow tab off this yellow I call it like a logging tag I don't know the technical name for it but if you look on this side of it it's got like a little tab on it that you push back Let's see if I can get off my hand my fingernail oh. see if I can push it back Ouch. I 
trying to get it off again. But all it basically does is unlocks and twists back and flips open. There it is. You see how that flips open like that? That's what you want. And basically, this threaded part here is what is attached to your doorknob. That's why you have to, your door handle on the outside. That's why you have to release this because your handle won't come out until you release this. Okay, next step. Let's release those 10 millimeter bolts now. So once you release those bolts, then you can come out here to this side of the door. Now you see how the whole handle's moving? Yeah, then you just slowly, slowly work it forward and it will eventually slide out and up. Now we've got the old one out. Let's get the new one in. You know, I thought, I wanna show you something first before I put it back in, just so you see the inside of the handle and what, what's actually happening when they break. This is the front part of the handle here. Uh oh, something just fell. I better find that, but um, this is the front part of the handle here. And when you look inside the handles, all it is is a threaded nut here that a bolt goes in. And then there's a threaded, well, that's actually what failed. But the threaded part that goes here. So that's what holds the front bolt and the rear bolt of your handle. Only thing that happens is the part that's threaded, it actually separates and pulls out of this hole. You see I see how the plastic on the inside just gets weak and brittle and breaks. That's what happens. That threaded part, it just separates. And that's why your handle breaks. If they'd have just made all of this metal inside of here, yeah, probably door handle would probably would have cost a little bit more, but um that wouldn't happen. So I just wanted you to see it. Not that you can do anything about it, reinforce it. Maybe you can, I don't know, but as cheap as the handles are, it's best to just go ahead and just record just buy a new one rather um but that's basically what's happening that's all that's in there is just those two bolts that one and that one so now let's get the new handle so on the old one remember this rod that was connected to that that locking tab in there we've got to get this out we've got to twist it out and you can figure out how to do this on yours but it's easy just twist it out and then you just got to put it over into the new one slide it over twist it in and boom there it is so now let's get it back on the door. All right, so we'll, so we'll slide the rear part in there first, putting that latch end on the inside, line it up as best we can. And once you get it lined up and locked in place, then we go inside and let's get those 10 millimeters in there, lock it down. All right, so what you're gonna notice, I'm actually going to hand tighten these bolts, remember, you, you're dealing with plastic here. Please don't over tighten these bolts. Just get them nice and snug. And once you get them snug, tighten them just a tiny bit more. And that's it, don't overdo it. Now, I'll open the ratchet and, and tighten them down just a little bit more, but don't, please don't overdo it because if, if you strip them out and mess them up, then you'll be buying another door handle again. So yeah, don't do that. Just tighten them up a little bit. Get your ratchet and then just snug it just a tiny bit and you'll be good. All right, so remember that lock in. I can keep some light on the door. That help out so much. All right, but remember this locking tab. So basically, you take the threaded part from your door handle and, and you'll see where the threads fit in once you get that locking tab open. You'll see where they fit. Basically, just stick the threads back in there and Push that back over and lock it. Just like that. Just make sure it's closed good. Move to the next part. And actually, before we move to the next part, just so you can see what that handle does, just so you can understand it. I'm, I'm on the outside of the door now. I'm pulling out onto the handle. And as I pull out on the door handle, I just want you to see what's actually happening. So when you pull out, it's pushing that lever down. That's why it's important to have that, um, that latch secure over there. That's what's actually happening. All right, so we'll take this stuff and we'll 
push this back up against the door. Try to get it as tight as you possibly can with that, um, that, I guess you call it self-adhesive weather stripping. This one, this truck for some reason didn't have any at the top. And yeah, there was none at the top. So it's only what's around the side. So however your vehicle is, if you have that weather stripping, just try to push it and try to get it to seal up again as tight as you can. If you have some weather stripping at home, of course use that. But if not, just reuse this and you'll be fine. But push it up there as tight as you can. Now we'll get the, the door handle cable and the window switch plugged back in. All right, so remember that door cable? Come back over here to the handle. You see a slot that the cable goes down in, push it down in that, pull it back around to the front of the handle, like so, and just lock it in. That part is done. And the same with the harness, you just go under here and you'll just plug it into your window switch. You can feel it, just plug it in the right way, push it in and it'll lock in. I'm leaving mine off because I actually have to do some more work on my window switch, so I'm going to leave mine hanging. But that's the way you do it. Just simply plug it in and you're done. Now we'll get the panel hung back on the door. All right. So everything's in order. So again, just pick the panel up in the air and you just basically slide it over top of the door on that lip at the top. And that this whole door panel will just sit down on top of it. And then you just have to feel your way around. Don't just immediately just start hitting the door panel. You don't want to break the um, plastic tabs on the back. But if you feel around slowly, you'll, you'll feel those tabs, the, the white push-in tabs. Just And there's a hole that each one of them sits in. Just slowly take your time, work your way around the door. And every time you get to one, just pop it in. Pop it in nice and slow. Don't, don't kill it because you'll destroy those tabs. You can replace them, but... Yeah, why replace something if you don't have to break it in the first place so just go around the entire door and tap all of those in and then we'll move to the next part now we'll take those 10 millimeters one 10 millimeter goes back here and remember the other 10 millimeter went down here inside the hole inside that handle right there so let's get that done a little bit there we go and now the only thing left is to put the panels back on those two places that we well actually one more step after that but let's put the panels in place So remember your door lock. This is the last piece of the puzzle. All you do is just take it, slide it back down over the threads like that. Slide it all the way down in there as far as you can get it. And then that, that um, square that you pulled out, you just push it back in. There you go. Now you can lock and unlock your doors. There you go. Let's unlock it. And that is the final step so now we'll go around and see if it works and there it is close the door there it is no more broken handle it works Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe for more tips and tricks and ways to save some money on small, easy projects like this. Thanks for watching.